Hello, welcome back to the Interface. My name's Alex, and today we're looking at how to use an MFG charger. If you've not heard of MFG before, they're one of the largest uh, providers of the petrol stations here in the UK, uh, and they're starting to put these nice canopied uh, charging stations into their petrol stations at the moment, and these offer really, really good charging speed. So this one out here has 150 kilowatts. They've actually got seven of these bays at this particular one in Birmingham, and you can start the charge with an Octopus Electroverse card, which is really good, or if you've just got a debit card or credit card, you can start it with the card there, and also with the MFG Connect app as well. So in this video, we're gonna show how to use the MFG charger using both the MFG Connect app on iOS, and also with the Electroverse card as well. For use of the MFG app, first thing you want to do is open the MFG app. Now you can sign in with an Apple ID if you need to as well. And then you can use the station finder feature to find the nearest station near you. This one is MFG in Merry Hill and it shows you the amenities that the station has got as well as what charging technologies it uses. It also tells you which ones are free, the speed on each one and you can use that system to connect as well. So for this you have to do a £40 pre-authorization charge. So I charged this to my card and it, it refunded me that difference, the difference between what I paid and didn't pay. So it'll authorize the payment and then it says please connect the cable to your vehicle. And once you're plugged in, the app will do its communication between the charger and the network. This could take anywhere from a few seconds to about a minute or so. This segment is sped up quite significantly. Once you're done, you can click on the information at the top of the screen and that will show you the current charge progress. And then to stop the charge, all you need to do is click on the stop button and it will communicate that with the charger as well. Once it tells you to do so, you can now unplug the car from the charger. And then right at the very end you get a receipt, uh, how much power you've drawn and how much time that took to charge as well. Next is the Octopus Electroverse card. Simply tap your RFID card on the reader and then the session is authorised. Then pick the charging standard you wish to use and plug the charger into your car. Next step is to click the start button on the charger itself and then the charger will go through its authorization process. This took around 30 seconds. And then to stop the charge, all you need to do is tap the Octopus card on the radio again and then click stop. Thanks for watching this video. My name's Alex and we'll see you again next time.